up guys? X-Man here from X-Man and Pops and welcome back. So guys, uh, in the last episode, we left the Northern Undead Asylum. Yeah. Alright, so here we are. When we press select, these are some of the gestures that you can do. You learn more as the game goes on. Pretty cool ones. Uh, my favorite one, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah, they get better, you know. Yeah, if you press triangle on one of the... Uh, this is the respected way uh, when you fight other people online. PvP. It's yeah. called PvP. Is the other terminology for it. Player versus player. You go ahead and bow down. Well, you don't bow down. I wouldn't say that exactly. Yeah. But anyway. But if you uh, press select, you press triangle on one of your uh, gestures. What you need to do is um, you can switch gestures around. Like if you just want to press select and press X. There you go, you have your bow. Attune magic. Attune magic, let me go ahead and show you a little something real quick. When you rest at the bonfire, it's going to give you level up. It's going to take 673 souls to go to the next level. We're a level one. This is Tehran's tribute, as it says in the top left uh, hand. And we have 2,160 souls. We're actually going to not use those quite yet. I'm going to show you something that we're going to grab real quick. And, uh... We're going to go ahead and spit out the first souls into faith um, because they're so cheap right now at 673 to do that. Uh, we can handle these enemies that are in this area. These here on the, see those blue numbers? They're going up depending on what you go ahead and choose, whether it's fatality. See that's 638. And you can pick what you're going to do with it. Every now, time you level up, the souls increase. In the right hand side you see poise, bleed resist, poison resist, curse resist. Don't really care about those right now. Poise is important so that they don't parry you later on. But we're looking at attunement slots guys. There's two slots here. That's not normal. Uh, this is because this is a pyromancer. So you're gonna. that means that each attunement slot allows you to put a different type of magic or fire or miracle or you know whatever it is that you decide to throw in there we'll show you where to get those things so what I'm going to do right now is um, we're, we're gonna go ahead and leave here and uh, let me go ahead and equip this axe real quick here's a, a body that will pillage gave us three humanity let me show you what that looks like right here humanity now, I don't like carrying them with me so I'll just unequip those I don't want to accidentally take them now these are the first enemies you really come across on. These have like shield and stuff. We're gonna go pillage that body over there. It's pretty easy to. We'll show you how to. Two hits to kill. Oh, three hits to kill these guys. Yeah, these guys will become increasingly easier. This is probably the hardest out of all of the, uh, this series. Well, not really, but since we have a cracked round shield, I wish he would just drop the uh, the long sword. And the, uh, what's it called? Hollow Warrior Shield. Let me go ahead and play this safe. Because I don't want to actually, uh, you know, lose right off the bat here. There's a rat over there in that sewer. We don't really want to fight him right now. Oh. Uh, that was a noob mistake. I wasn't even... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Take your Estus. As you can see, I do need an Estus. Oh, uh -huh. Battle Axe. Well, let's go ahead and do a couple of things here, guys. Go pillage first, that body. See if there's a shield. Nah. First, I'm going to do this. First, I'm going to take this axe, and I'm going to replace it with this axe. And then, I'm going to go ahead and in my... I haven't attuned my fire. I took it off at the bonfire like a noob. Let me go ahead and refill my Estus. I don't need... I'll take both of them just because I don't really need them after this. R2 attack is overhand chop. One shot kill. It's good for narrow areas because um, you really can't do like a sideways swing. Since it's a cracked, oh. I'm going to go ahead and pillage some of these bodies. These will only be here the one time that you pass by. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple other things. I guess I'll kill this guy too. Now what you can do right here is you can pillage that body and think it's humanity. Oh no. Souls of the Lost Undead you can consume whenever you want. But 
they will never go away. Now, it might be stupid to do what I'm going to do next, but I'm going to do it anyway just because what's the point of waiting till later uh, to do it? Try to go over there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pillage this body. No, More so souls of the dead. undead. I'm going over there to that bridge. Let's get it over with and get this. Even though technically I should be leaving to go get the next item that I want to show you. Uh, pretty easy to get the next items that we'll go ahead and do. Okay. So, um... Yeah, you want to do that carefully. I'll go ahead and take an Estus, even though I don't really need it. Now, here's an, a good example of a ring right here. We'll show you this thing. Hopefully my dad doesn't noob it out. Noob it out. I could. You Technically could noob it out. But you want me to make the jump? Okay, Ring of Sacrifice. Yeah. Ring I of want, Sacrifice. I wanted to tell you something about um, this game. You can lose your souls, but you respawn with, back with your items. So let's say if I die down somewhere, but I pillage a body with a really big sword. I'll keep that sword. I'll just, won't, I'll just lose my souls. So that's a pretty uh, cool thing, cool feature about this game that you don't lose your items. Minecraft, it's a whole nother story. You lose your XP and you lose your items, so. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things. First, I'm gonna rest at this bonfire so I can get my 10 Estus back and attune my magic. Oh wait, you're not gonna, oh, okay. You have to rest at the bonfire. I'm gonna go ahead and attune that magic. Attuning the magic means assigning a specific spell or whatnot. All you need to do is press X, um, We'll also talk to this guy now. X-Man actually talked to him, so hopefully that dialogue won't be gone, but it might be. No. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Don't, don't face him. Dead, right? Don't face him. Not even moving his lips. Not much to go. Don't even face him. But I have a feeling. You have a chance of killing you. him. Don't so, worry. Off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get nervous, guys, when they say ha 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 ha. There are some characters that you're gonna be able to tell. Um, anyway, guys. Um, I did kill this guy before, that's why X-Man's all nervous. I killed a merchant too, so... Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Hollow's when you're not in your human form. Basically meaning you're dead. Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collected bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric. And get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a handsome undead and pillage its humanity. That's oh. what I did to him. Who is only human, after all? <laughs> you, they would never do it because that's like PvP. That's stuff to do with PvP. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Yeah, well, the last time I remember facing you, uh, you fell out of a cliff. You but you died over and over again. That's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully, then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lip is broken. Oh. You have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead bird through the waterway. The other band is back down below the undead berg, within the plague-infested Blight Town. I hate Blight Town. I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. Me too. <laughs> Dude, it's a friggin' terror trip. Like, let me say. As yes. you can see, I'm... What the hell? What is it now? You ask too many questions. He gets annoyed after a while. Mm -hmm. 
What now? Uh, it's I'm dialogue. Leave me alone. Okay, fine. We'll leave you Perfect. alone. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go buy something. I did not realize it was here um, until later in the game. Now, this is your fire keeper, solar lady. No, no, she's, she she's your fire keeper. Uh, she cannot speak, but if you get a fire keeper soul, what you can do is you can reinforce your edit flask and it'll give you more, uh, what's it called? More, you'll, you'll heal more than you normally would with a S. So let's say if you heal three bars, uh, no. Let's say if you heal two bars, you'll heal four bars the next time you reinforce it. There's a couple of things that we're going to end up doing today. One of them is we're going to go buy some items and then we're going to suicide run. Yes, it sounds horrible to say that we're going to suicide run, but that's just the reality of things. My dad likes suiciding. I don't know why. Not necessarily. I mean, I'm going to show you guys a part of the uh, game that you can get a really good item fairly fast and uh you know you're, you're really not losing anything by grabbing this yeah. uh here and now so had i known all these tricks from the very beginning you know who knows i think you're gonna get like another sword here right you're gonna get a soul and there's a gonna be a couple of sword. things that i can get here the s stock i believe yeah it's an s stock a lot of people do like the s stock just be it's like a spear just like a soul like a sword ring. I guess I'll kill this guy now. It actually takes like three shots to kill these guys with the S stock so not looking too good. Now as you can see these weapons are a lot stronger than the ones that I had before. Even though the fireball is uh pretty much the strongest out of the weapons that we actually have. Yeah but there's really no need to use it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just... I don't really need these souls because, to be honest with you, I am... What the heck? These stairs are glitching me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end up losing these souls. It's uh, it's pretty much a given. But I'm okay with that. And, guys, if you go down here, don't go farther than what um, my I mean, pops is going to show you because you might get cursed down here. Technically, you can... Let's go ahead and show you where there's another dude that you'll want to talk to at some point. He's actually the first blacksmith that you ever meet. Uh, well, if you come this way, you'll be the first If you come this one. way first. Uh, so, yeah. But he's from Vinheim. He can actually forge soul weapons for you. Yeah, so that's what I came here for. This is not the suicide run, however. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky, isn't I? I was once an established smith. Look, look at me now. Can you believe it? Well, to be honest with you, I hmm? cannot. What is it? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Their lips are not even moving. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what may be the best in the night. You need to. As have... you can see, once you go through the dialogue, now you can do a couple of things. Go ahead and talk to him one more time. What is it? There's nothing to talk about. Yeah. We're both cursed. He doesn't talk about. Dead. But what's there really to moan about? And I'd like to go ahead and exhaust all of the talking. What is it? It's the There's same thing. We're both cursed. Once they say the same thing twice, but then I know I'm done with that talking. Since I'm gonna go on a suicide run now, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple of things. Yeah, we. I'll really begin with the soul arrows, which is a magic. I'd love to have the other ones, but I can't. And I am also going to buy the Sorcerer's Callus, Catalyst. And uh, that's only going to leave me with like 200 souls. I don't think I could buy anything else because that's all he really much, pretty much sells. Uh, reinforcing weapons, I don't even think we can. As we you can see on the top right uh, side, we need a Titanite Shard, which Here is something that other mobs will drop. 
mobs or whatever uh, we're talking mobs minecraft. minecraft your minecraft instincts are coming in pop yeah anyway so that's pretty much it for what we can get here there's nothing that i can do to ascend so i will leave remember this is those ogres in the uh, so that was one of the things that i came to do now that's not the only thing that i came to do there's a couple of items that I came to get from down here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more myrtleizing, as Rendog from the Rendog channel would say. Okay, so. And this should be the S Doc. Yep, it is. S Doc's a pretty good weapon, and like. like eh, pretty much, I like my weapon, so I'm good. Yeah, even though your shield kind of sucks. As you can see, there's a dude inside that. He will he not attack, attack you, so don't worry. He's actually dead, dead. If you know what I mean. Like, he's not dead as in undead. He's dead In as other dead. words, they keep him there for, uh, for, uh, decoration. And now you can pillage his body and you'll get the transcendent curse. Now, the transcend, uh, transient curse is important because to go that way, uh, it's not fun. And there's ghosts over there, and if they curse you, there's no way of getting rid of that curse unless, of course, you uh, get absolved. I think get a get abs absolution from. Now, here's another thing. There's going to be a lot of references in this game to things like gods and deities and blah blah blah. Obviously, we're Catholic and we don't believe in any of that stuff. So, you know. It is a video game, and that's pretty much how we take it. We're not going to let it get to our heads. Yeah. Anyway, where did I go? I was... Uh, you have to go to... I messed up and went yeah, the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go to the left. Yeah, right there, and then what go to the right. What a noob. And you're going to need the master key. And now, uh, the master key is pretty important for a lot of things. I like breaking stuff just because I used to play Resident Evil, and sometimes there was hidden things. Even though I know better that there's nothing down here. But there are some places that you want to go. You want to go get the other shield? Oh. We are now in the Valley of the Drakes. And there's a bunch, bunch of dragons here. Bunch of dragons. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Really don't want to use it. And I'll be honest with you. I already know I'm going to die, so it is what it is. There's the o you're going to where the ogres are. You're going to you're going that way where that cave is over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That is Blythe Town. Not my favorite place on the world. It is what it is. Whatever. Now, do you want to go get that outfit and the remedy, or? Uh... Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm going to die yeah, anyway here. You know what? I guess we'll just do that. I am going to. I have already come to the conclusion that I will lose 360 souls. But it is very much worth what I'm about to get. That's Look at that thing right there. It's going to kill me. It looks like it's not because it looks like it's dead. Trust me, it's See? much more than dead. Much more than dead. Yeah. It's gonna eat you, it's gonna spit poison at you. Now, uh, see really? those two guys? Looks dead, doesn't he? Now, he didn't touch me there. I'm gonna, oh, pillage it, pillage it, pillage it, pillage it. Dragon shield and the sword, and I died. Now, ask me, am I going to go back there? You know, I've never gone back to see what happens. It would be kind of interesting to find out. Would be. But That's we're not going to do episode. that. That's for another episode. We're not going to do that. We're, we're not going to go to Blight Town. We're going to get the, the stuff. Uh, we're going to get the stuff in Blight Town. That's for the playthrough of Blight Town. There's a bunch of things you can access only from this bonfire. So guys, let's take a look and see what we got before yes. we end this actual um, episode. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and take everything uh, out. Get that. Get rid of that shield. I don't want to see that well, shield. Well, let's just say I don't want to see that shield anymore. We now have... The Dragon Crest Shield with phys 62 physical damage or attack, uh, zero magic, zero fire, zero lightning, zero critical. This is a physical 100, which means 
it is going to protect you. If you have a 95, a 90, those don't help. 100% don't break, correct? 100% like they'll, like they'll take damage and you still need to repair them and stuff. This takes 85 defense against for fire, fire. 45 against lightning, it's uh, 20 against magic, and those will come in handy. The strength requirement is 10 and, uh, and dexterity 0, so we can already actually uh, use it. As you can see, there's a negative 3.0, which means that the shield we had before didn't weigh as much as this one so we're gonna lose uh, some of our ability to run as fast as we used to um, but believe me what you're getting in return is worth it so we're gonna go ahead and we will put that one in our stock now bud a storus shield unable to wield this weapon effectively with present stats nope. so let's go ahead and take a look we need 10 dexterity that's why it's in red and we need 14 faith um, so so we'll go ahead and level those up eventually we don't need to do it now to be honest with you because uh, you know this this sword doesn't really make us or break us at this point in the game we'll still use the battle axe and we and still will equip Pyromancer. the pyromancer but here's the other thing that we got from the blacksmith I don't think uh, we can use that we got the catalyst so we'll find out if we can use it or not now show them how you can attune the other magic if you have another attunement I will show them that but let's go ahead and show them here transient curse limb of the victim of a curse temporary curse allows engagement with ghosts now, if you don't have this uh, they will kill you and you can't hit them back um, so only thing is you have to you know uncurse yourself we have a uh, soul of the lost undead and we also have soul of a nameless soldier now guys i was going to tell you something about these remember how i told you that you lose your souls well you don't lose your souls necessarily if you have these these you uh will Take keep with you uh until you use them uh, we'll go ahead and use one just to go ahead and show you what we mean by that and here's humanity uh, we're not going to use those right now, and here is... Uh, will we get to PvP on this uh, file? Eventually we will. So here's uh, Soul of the Undead, and let's go ahead and show you what it is. As you can see, by pressing down on the D-pad, it will change from the Estus to the Soul of the Lost Undead. And so when you press square, look at my soul count. 200. 200. Another 200. And so that's going to give us 800. And that's good because we needed to get faith anyway. So we will level up the or faith. dexterity. What do you want to do? Well, dexterity is at a 10 for the storage shield. Is that correct? Uh, uh, we still need faith anyway. Yeah, whatever. We'll go ahead and... Uh, we'll, we'll do faith. It doesn't make much of a difference anyway, to be honest with you. Because yeah. we're going to have to do it anyway. So we just leveled up faith. As you can see, the top under uh, Tehran's tribute. Uh, it's a level 2 now. Now show them how to tune the magic. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh, that's the second slot. We'll go ahead and put the soul arrows. I can use it. Yeah. And we'll show you what that does in just a second. But because of the fact that we do have all of these other souls, which, to be honest with you, we don't need them later. So we'll just go ahead and we will equip them and use them now. And we will begin the road to... Uh, leveling this account a little bit now it's not it's actually not a great idea to level up right away um, but whatever I mean it's not that big of a deal for no, us. never yeah um, so let's go ahead and use those uh, souls there now I know what you guys are thinking why nope. couldn't you guys just equip the magic right there without having to go to the bonfire well you can't you can't you can't detune magic um, without a bonfire. So if you have more attunement slots, you don't have to go back to the bonfire and equip the magic that you need. As you can see, different souls give you different amounts. The first one I showed you gave us 200. The second one gave us 1,000. The third one gave us 2,000. Uh, that's because they were different types of souls. So I did that specifically because I want to go ahead and I want to level up the Number one, the dexterity for the actual uh, sword that X-Men wanted. 
eventually it's not going to make much of a difference because we are going to have to do that. Now, what was the other thing that we needed? Was there something else that we needed? Uh, I don't really know. Well, let's go find out. Let's go, let's go find out one more thing now, before we finish this now, episode. Now, to Demon Soul players, this is all obvious. But we're just targeting newcomers. Obviously, Toronto knows all this. But Let's um, talk to this fat little porker. Now, don't face him. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? I do. If not, I prefer to keep a distance, if possible. I kill you. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. Yay! You go ahead. It's for you. He's giving us a worthless copper coin. Oh my. You again. Wait a minute. Oh, I like soldier I currency? Know. How about this? I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yeah. I don't know if that will please me quite yet. But we will so we can show you what's going on. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Again, we don't condone the use of the word gods. This is a video game and we will go ahead and play through the video game. That was so that I can buy stuff from this butt. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so, learn the gesture, which shrug. is the shrug. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and purchase an item. And unfortunately, I don't even have enough. I will buy the talisman because we will need it eventually. Uh, you don't have to buy it this early, to be honest with you, but whatever. Not a big deal. You're going to actually need that to do the nerves. We'll probably get the force next, homeward bound, great egg, heal expert, excerpt. You don't really need these. I'm not going to get seek guidance because for a couple thousand more we'll get force. Um, so anyway, for now we'll be done with this guy. Let's talk My to him. companions are my lady and her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I will be again. The effectiveness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The effectiveness this and the effectiveness that. Like butthole. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. By pressing up, see fireball, and now soul arrow. Right now, I have equipped. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I almost got scared for a second. Why? Because I thought I was going to fall out that ledge. Oh my goodness, my dad is... Anyway, we're just going to show you real quick what this does. Because it's in the shield position, you're going to use L1 to use this. It's but a soul arrow. If and it's where the pyromancy flame is, or the hand or whatever it is, you're going to press R1. Now we're quickly approaching almost 30 minutes, so we really have to go pretty soon here. And... Uh, Whatever. Um, we were going to show you that. We're going to go ahead and end this particular video. And we're about to go to a graveyard. Show you where you can pillage a couple of things around this area. It's going to be a really big sword. And it's going to be a really big one. And we'll be back. So guys, uh, stay with us. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this series. We know we've stuck to like Black Ops and Minecraft and other games like that in the past. Uh, this is something new for our channel. Uh, thanks to Ron again uh, for getting us into this game. And we look forward to Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls. This is Pop saying peace. And this is X-Man saying peace. Peace.